do for your, for the sidelines and, and that kind of energize you there at the end? Um, that gave us a lot of energy because um, Louisville was actually moving the ball to go score the game, and um, we had scored a touchdown before that, so we had a little bit of momentum. And when they came back on the field, they were getting the momentum back. And um, I knew the touchdown that Trey McKinney had gave us life. We just needed one more stop. And I was just telling the guys on the sideline, um, you know, continue, continue to fight. Continue to fight because we're going to have to go score a touchdown and win this game. And Coach Tad called it, and Looney did the rest. What uh, what changed in the second half for you? Um, uh, Really, it wasn't really for me. It was for us as an offense as a whole. We just stopped making silly mistakes. Um, I felt like we were getting penalties and, you know, getting negative yards before we could even snap the ball. Um, we just had a lot of chitters in the first half. And after the second half, once we figured we didn't have nothing to lose, we just went out there and played the way we know how to play Florida State football. When did you realize that, that Nuni was, was gone on that play, that he was going to score? Um, I remember I threw it to him, and then he was going to cut back left, and then I seen him. He was going to cut back to Keith, and then Keith wasn't looking, so he cut back right to Terry. And then he just ran across the field, and it was like deja vu because I've seen him do that numerous times. So he's just a magician with the ball in his hands. What was your reaction when you're watching him run down the field like that? Are you are you celebrating high stuff? What are you doing? I'm celebrating. I'm running after him. I'm like, oh, man, this is just a great feeling. And it's just great for our team. It's great for the offense as a whole because we know that we haven't been executing the way we're supposed to execute. We haven't been doing it the Florida State way. And for us to come back 21-7, we, we understand that we are capable to you know, score points on offense. What does this win do for, for this team? Um, it does a lot for us. Every win is an important win. But just the way we won, we, we grew a lot as a team. We grew up today. Um, we also grew up last weekend. So we just grew up two weeks in a row. And we just want to continue to grow up as a team, continue to grow together, um, and not be selfish, and continue to share the ball and continue to execute. Yonder, how special was it to have you and Nooney and AJ, guys who have been here a while and been here before, to be kind of at the center there at the end to, to, to make the plays to help you guys win? Well, it's very special. Um, you know, Nooney and AJ, those are two guys, uh, two seniors who who could have checked out. You know, we got a new coach, things didn't start off right for us, and those are two seniors who could have been like, I don't want to buy into this. And, but those are two guys who bought in from the jump. And, um, you know, things weren't going well for us at the beginning of the season, but they stayed strong. They kept their leadership. AJ leads the safeties, and Nooney leads the receivers. And those are two guys who made came, came up with two big critical plays at the end of the game for us. Mary and Terry keeps making big plays. How much trust and confidence do you have? and him to keep making those. I have a lot of confidence, and I'm just going to keep pushing him every week in practice, no matter how much, how, how, how annoying I am, no matter how much I get under his skin, but I'm just going to keep pushing him to be the best receiver he can be because if he does that, then nobody can guard him. How does he do when, when you push him generally? Is he, is he cool with that? Yeah, he's cool with it. He focuses up, and he goes to work, and he's a guy that's all about work, and that showed out there today. How much did that play kind of wake everything up in the third quarter there to the deep, the deep touchdown? Um, he woke it up a lot. Um, the line protected well. They continue to, to block. They continue to get better every week. Um, Terry uh, ran a great route, and uh, when I had time back there, I just felt so comfortable, and it just everything was so clear, and I could make a good throw. How much did that did that play in itself kind of relieve some frustration and just kind of give everyone on that sideline some confidence that you guys were still in the game? Yeah, that play right there just let us know that wow, okay, it isn't that hard to score to score points um, when you have you know the players that we have, the skill players that we have, and we understand that all we have to do is execute, and we can do that because that, I think that was a play coming off the sideline. You know, Coach Tag called it. He drew it up perfect. And we talked about it on the sideline. Like, let's go execute this play. Let's focus on one play at a time. And then we did that. Yeah, I think he had mentioned uh, that he was trying to get it in the drive earlier, just didn't get a chance to get it in there. Was that, was that right? Yeah, we were trying to do it, but we just we got off the field early. So we were just saving it to, for a critical moment. And that play right there sparked the offense up. The O-line's out there picking up blitzes. I don't think you were sacked tonight. Just what can you say about their progress and, and what they were able to do today? They just tired of people calling them soft and they're tired of people um, talking bad about them and and, and they, they've had enough and they just want to continue to get better. They want to continue to grow as a unit. They want to be more in sync with each other and today I feel like they were more in sync. They looked together. Um, it was a big help getting Landon back at left tackle. Um, He's out there fighting hard. He's he, his his ankle is is is, is 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 hurting after this game. And he's just fighting hard. So they look good to me. And you say every win is a big win, but to have to fight back and be a conference win and just what do you think this one specifically just does for you know what people are viewing now with Florida State and what Coach Tyler's trying to do? 
Yeah, we understand. It, it, the way we won, it was a big win because we came back and we we had adversity and we came up from that adversity. And this is a young team, and for us to come back from 21 to seven at a away game, that's a that's a testament to how hard we fought and how how much focus, we, how, how much we stayed focused. You're going off that, all three of the touchdowns that you throw in the second half are, are long touchdown plays. What does it say about what this offense can be in terms of being dynamic, explosive? Yeah, we can be explosive. We can strike in one play, or we can put together um, many play drives. And we understand that all we have to do is execute because the players are there. You know, we understand we practice them in practice, and you know, Coach Tag calls them in the game in perfect situations. But it's up to us as players, O line, receivers, me, the backs, picking up blocks, me making the right. So a lot give me time, receiver run the right route, and then it all comes together like it did today. On, on the touchdown pass to Marion, I know you guys talked about it be, before the play. Uh, did you expect him to be in one-on-one -on -one coverage? Did you yeah. Think